Hey folks, have you ever been on a road trip and wondered if you have enough fuel to reach the next station? Your business journey is exactly the same. If you don't understand the financial fuel gauge, which would be loss, break even or profit, you might just stall midway. Today, let's decode the financial dashboard of your business. So buckle up. Hi, I'm Odette, your co-pilot on this ride through Financial Foundations, and we're here to lay the foundations of financial operations. Today's pit stop, ratios, that can save your business from going financially haywire. First off, let's understand our big three, loss, break even, and profit. Loss. Picture this. You're an ice cream vendor, but... It's winter. No one's buying ice creams. You still have costs, right? Rent, ingredients, those kinds of things. You're operating at a loss, my friend. Break even. Fast forward to spring, sales boom, and now you are covering costs, but you have not yet started making a profit. Welcome to the break even point, a financial neutral zone. It's summer. Ice creams are selling like hotcakes, but cold. You've crossed the break-even point and you are now entering into the profit zone. It's time for you to make some money. Let's roll these into practical examples. Ever heard of gross profit margin, net profit margin, or break-even analysis? These ratios are the roadside assistance to your business journey. Gross profit margin is gross revenue minus cost of goods sold. The higher, the better. It tells you how much room you've got after direct costs. Net profit margin. All about the bottom line. It's what remains after all your expenses have been paid. Want sustainable growth? Keep an eye on this number. Break even analysis. It tells you exactly how many units you need to sell to cover your costs. Think of it as your business GPS, steering you clear of the loss zone. Now, we have a video on break even sales, so be sure to go check it out. Imagine your best friend Sally, the queen of cupcakes. Sally ignored her break-even point and kept on baking more varieties. On paper, sales were up. But in reality, she was losing money on very exotic flavors. Had she used these ratios, she'd have noticed the red flag waving very high. So remember, just like you wouldn't ignore your car's fuel gauge, don't ignore these ratios. They're not just numbers. They signposts guiding you on the roadmap to your business success. Whether you're a newbie or a seasoned veteran, understanding loss, break even, and profit through these ratios is a non-negotiable. Your business will thank you, and hey, so will your peace of mind. That's it from me for now. Until next time, keep those numbers crunched and your eyes on your financial road. Safe travels.